Welcome to iTech blog. Today we will see how to deploy Microsoft SQL Server on Podman. The installation process is similar to that of Docker. Now why Podman? Podman is a daemonless container engine for developing, managing and running containers and container images on Linux system. Podman is an open source tool. It is more secure than Docker as a user running a Podman container can only see and modify their own containers. Podman's ability to deploy containers without root access privileges is one of the main reasons Red Hat started using Podman as a container engine. From Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, Docker is not included and not supported by Red Hat. Podman, Scopal, and Builder were developed to take over Docker command features. Here is a quick view on what are we going to cover in this session. Let's get started. I am connected to CentOS Linux. Let's verify. As you can see, we have CentOS Linux 8.2 installed. To install Podman, we can use yum install Podman for Red Hat or CentOS. On Ubuntu, you have to use apt-get install Podman. So let's install Podman. Let's do a minus Y switch. Okay, it's installing. There you go. Podman is now installed. Let's verify. We have Podman 2.2.1 installed. This is the latest version. Let's now proceed to install SQL Server. As a first step, we have to pull the SQL Server image from the Microsoft repository. To do that, we have to run command pull, sorry, podman pull Microsoft repository name As you can see, I have selected the image for Red Hat Linux or CentOS. Let's run this command. There you go. It started downloading. And you can see that it's a blob image file. This might take a while because image is of size around 1.8 GB. The image is now successfully downloaded. We can verify using Podman images. There you go. We have the SQL Server image downloaded from Microsoft repository. And the size is 1.54 GB. The next step is to install or create the container using the image. To do that, we have to run podman run This command is available in Microsoft documentation. I'm directly writing from there. Password equal to 
let's give a password um, password one two three Port number 1433. And now we have to mention the image name. I'm going to copy that from here. Okay, let me verify the command. Partner and run, you will accept, password, sounds good. Let's run this command. There you go, the image is now created as a container. Now we have a SQL Server installed in Podman and the password is password123 and it is selected the default options. We can change the default options later. I will be covering more on the post installation steps in a later video or text blog. So let's verify the SQL Server installation now. We can do a podman ps. There you go. You can see that the SQL Server container image is up for the last 37 seconds. Or we can also run podman container ls. Both commands give the same output. So now let's connect to the install SQL Server using MS SQL client. If you want to know more about MS SQL CLI client, you can refer to my blog. I have the link mentioned in the below description. Let's run the MS SQL CLI command. MS SQL hyphen CLI. Server name, we put the local host. user sa password the password which we created which is password one two three let's enter there you go we are now connected to sql server let's do some queries okay we have a developer edition of sql server running on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Alt files. Okay, perfect. You can see that the Data and log files are stored in varopt msql data and we also have msql system resource file. Now let's see how to connect to the container and check the SQL Server processes running inside the container. To do that, first we have to get the container ID. Pseudo portman container ls The container ID you can see here. Copy that. Now let's do pseudo podman. Let me clear the screen first. Let's do a pseudo podman. Execute. The container ID we copied. slash bin slash bash perfect we are now inside the container let's verify some of the processes running inside the container we don't want to list all the processes only the msql processes okay you can see that sql server is running as MS SQL user account.
Now let's verify the data and file location. It will be stored under where opt MSSQL data. You can see the master model, TempDB, everything is stored here. Now let's see how can we start and stop SQL Server running in Podman. We can use Podman stop and start command. To do that, all we need is a container ID, which we already copied. Let's exit out of the bash. And we can do sudo podman container ls first. Container ls. Okay, so the container is running at the moment. Up six minutes ago, we are going to stop the container. Container ID, which is this container ID. Okay. Perfect. It's now stopped. Let's verify. You can see that there is no container running. Let's start the container. It started. Let's verify again. There you go. It just started. So we just restarted our SQL Server running in Podman. Now let's check how to delete the container or the SQL Server installation completely. We can do that by simply deleting the container. Let's run the command sudo podman rm. rm means remove and followed by the container ID. Let's run. Okay, let's see what it is saying. Error cannot remove the container because, okay, we cannot remove the container because it is running. We can by using minus F switch, but the best way is to stop the container, then remove it. Okay, let's stop the container. Container is now stopped. Okay, now we are going to, let's clear the session. Now we are going to remove the container. Perfect, now we do not have any containers running. Let's verify. There you go. So we have installed the SQL Server container in Podman, and now we have completely deleted it. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching.